Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jasmine the Buffet Witch, but you already knew that. Um, because you called 1-800-WHO-IS-THIS? And I'm who picked up, and it's me, Jasmine. So, I decided we're gonna keep going on with these lip swatch videos because I'm having a good time doing this. And I do have a few different like lip brands and lipstick collections, I guess, or like, uh, yeah, like a, a collection of one brand's lipsticks and I thought we would just do that. Now, I had originally decided that I did my shop my stash the way that I did it for the intro of my, my channel so that I didn't have to do an entire lipstick collection video or any one collection type video. And as I continue making videos for my channel, I kind of think I wanna just chop and screw the entire idea excuse me, of what I had going and just do whatever I want when I want to do it. I feel like restricting myself and trying to have like an itinerary, it's just it's not, it's not going to work. Um, I've just gone to second shift and it, it's really shifted the time that I have to play. And I feel like I'm not giving, getting enough time to do what I want to do because I'm trying to have it so structured. So instead, I'm just going to do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. Like for instance, I'm putting up these videos when I still have my Moira's that I filmed about a month ago if not longer, and I haven't even posted any of those. But I'm moving on because I want to, and I'm not actually done with the Moira's, so I think I'm gonna start posting those periodically and just jumping back and forth, girl, okay? Because we just gotta keep it moving. So that's why I decided, you know what, if I have a few different brands where I have a few colors in that same range, I just wanna do a little collection video. So that's what we're doing. So we just did the Juvia's Place um, Nubian Earth collection and I decided to shift over to Sephora and do this little Christmas kit that I got. Now I did not keep the box. I may have taken a photo of it but I don't remember. But it was a Christmas collection of what? Six lipsticks. So these are the Sephora lip stains, okay? Beautiful cream lip stains, I think these are both. Yeah. These are absolutely beautiful. I love them so much. The shade 01 used to be my holy grail red. It took place of my Ruby Woo from MAC. As you can see, I do bring up MAC quite often. I have just a few MAC products, but it's not a brand that I really care about anymore. And I never really was that deep into it. <clears throat> it was just a really good frame of reference for when YouTube came out, MAC was like the top of this, of the pyramid of beauty. So, um, Let's go ahead and swatch these shades. So I originally picked this up because I am trying to dupe out my Fenty Mademoiselle in Spanked. Uh, the Mademoiselles are long di since discontinued. And the color Spanked I had was in a little, um, a duo like mini set. It came with a shade Griselda, which was basically like, li like a lipstick version of Max Lip Liner Night Moth very deep dark burgundy beautiful loved it used her up fast I have just a squinch of spanked I probably I probably will end up like digging it out because I love the shade so much it's like a corally pink um I should just swatch it against these but I'm not going to I kind of eyeball it and it doesn't even have to be exact just something in the same vein which is why I picked these up because I thought that these would be kind of close to spanked but I'm not positive so let's go ahead and swatch these and we'll start with this shade which is 05. I don't think these all have names. And if they do, they're just not on this actual tube. Um, but I think they are on the website because isn't 01 called Always Red? Am I making that up? Anyways, so I'm going to swatch all of these without lip liners because that's a bit time consuming, okay? And I do like to lip wear my lipsticks without lip liners most of the time because I always forget about the lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss combos so again shade seven is that what I say girl shade five and I would say this is a nude pink with a hint of peach in it and it looks like this one has shimmer now what I like about this formula is you can wear it quite sheer or you can let it dry and add another layer but honestly, that's quite pretty. I think I would wear this very sheer. And then I probably put a gloss on top. This would be a great time to use the shade Glimmer from my Revolution. So again, I like to show you the difference. So Glimmer is the pink one and then Starlight is the orangey one. And 
I would definitely use glimmer with this. So this is what the lip stain looks like on its own. And then let's stick glimmer on top. Yeah, uh-huh. That is a combo made in lipstick heaven. A little icy, a little metallic, but I like that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do what we did in the first video, take photos of these as well. All right, moving right along, let's go ahead and do this nude shade, this like kind of brownie shade. Um, this is shade two. This one, I feel like I wanna put a lip liner on, but again, we're gonna just try these without them. Oh. Ugh. Okay, ma'am. Oh. So you just gonna, you just gonna come in here like that? And snatch my weave? And be a beautiful nude on me? Okay. All right, okay. I like that. Okay, I like this nude. On the camera, she looking a bit concealery. In person, she don't look that cray cray. But let's go ahead and, you know, make this work for us and do a lip liner. I'm gonna use that minty lip liner, okay? Cause it's a bit warmer than the shade we, we have applied. And I think it will ground it really well. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then not only that, but the formula is so soft, both of these products, that they are blending beautifully. What y'all doing? Where y'all going? Hmm, you're getting some exercise? Gotta lift your knees. Get your heart pumping. What y'all doing? Hmm? Hmm, anyways. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. The lip liner really kind of grounded it and brought it back from looking like concealer. What is this line on my screen? What are you doing? Hmm? Why, why are you broken? What's going on? I don't like that. Anyways, do my brows look like hella stark and like really big and long? Don't talk about it. It's not there, okay? As my friend Damaris's daughter said year, a decade ago, don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. Don't worry about it. With this one, I feel like we're gonna gloss her. <laughs> yeah, okay. This gloss is just, uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-hmm, 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 yeah, oh. So I'm just finding all the lip combos today. And this is why I love lip play and makeup play, just sitting and playing with makeups, testing things, mixing things, playing with things, doing things, you know. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. This is why you also can't let a bad skin day ruin your fun, okay? Embellish them blemishes. Mm -hmm. And blemish, and, and blemish, yeah. I'm emblemished, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and take some photos and come in with the next color. All right, so the next shade we have is shade 13. Pretty, she's getting, we're getting a little more pinky lavendery. I like that. Um, let's go ahead and do a lip liner as well. I'm gonna use Juvia's Place uh, Scorpio. So this is like what I think is a slight dupe of Night Moth from MAC. Like I said, I'm not really a MAC girl, but there are just a few staple products that are really just references. I feel like most people know the shade Night Moth. And that tells you that it's going to be a dark, like burgundy plummy lip liner.
Okay. Sorry y'all had a her in my mouth. Cause why not, right? Oh, it was from my makeup remover wipe. <laughs> anyway, so shade 13. Uh, kind of a mauvey pink. Yeah. Yep. It's giving me mauve wives from Fenty Gloss Gloss Bombs. Cream cream gloss bomb. It's another brand and line that I reference a lot because I like the colors of those products, but I don't like the formula of the gloss bombs. And I can't really tell you why, because they're not bad. They're not super goopy. They're not like heavy. They are a, a bit thicker, but there's heavy and then there's goopy, you know what I mean? Or like thicker and then there's like goopy and thick. There's, there's a difference. And they weren't overly uncomfortable, but I just, there was just something about them. I loved the colors. Honey Waffles, Mauve Wives were my favorite. And I think I liked Fruit Punch, but they just never could make it through my declutters. And if they did, I still never used them. So for this one, let's just put on clear gloss. Yeah, this is giving me a little bit of a mauve purple moment and I enjoy that. So that lip liner was a good one to choose. And it looks stunning with a gloss. Nikki Glo Nikki K for the win, right? Nikki. We just call her Nikki K here, okay? Don't be saying her full name. Sounded like something we don't say on my channel, okay? All right, let's take a photo and let's get into these bright colors. Yes, yes. All right. So now we've got the uh, number 90, bright pink. Let's just do no lip liner. See what she does on her own. I don't think I have a reference for this one. What I like about these is how soft they are. They kind of feel maybe like a velvet. And they do dry down. And the dry down is extremely comfortable. Can't believe there was a time where I didn't like my big lips. <laughs> Look at these things. Delectable. All right. So that bees that. Yes. And now we bees in the trap. Getting all these songs stuck in my head. But yeah, that is that. Shade 90. I like this one matte. Mm-hmm. And so I sure do. You know what though? Where are them bukkake things from? Miss J Cat. Really supposed to be about the Sephora lip stains, but we call we we got to experiment, just experiment a little bit, okay? I'm gonna take this here glitter bukkake thing, okay? This is the J Cat Beauty Mood Flick Hollow Sparkle Lip Balm, okay? This is in the shade Deep Gratitude, and it look like this, okay? Let's let's see what happens, okay? Say goodbye to this beautiful lip. No. Uh-uh. I don't like the smell of these. Uh-uh. It smells like expired, expired lipstick. Uh-uh. No, I don't need this. I have, and it's itchy. Mm-mm. 
I have another one in the shade State of Mind. It's more like burgundy-ish. Declutter. Into the trash with your ass. Into the trash. A little song for the girls. No. Uh. But since we done put that gloss over it, let's cover that shit with glimmer, okay? We're still gonna get that frostiness. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I really do like this shade of lipstick. Not that glitter bukkake thing. Let's clean off my book foot. Gotta keep the book clean, okay? All right, let's take a photo of this and then we can get into these gorgeous reds because red is where it's at. I love my reds. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, let's take this off, which I keep forgetting to do, <laughs> and get into these reds. Now for the reds, we're not doing any lip liner because we don't need any. Uh, I really prefer reds without lip liners. Um, just because unless I'm doing like a deep red ombre, which we can do, I don't see the point in or need for a red lip liner with a red lipstick. Um, I actually really don't like that I see a lot of black and brown girls, um, like doing the perfect red lip, but it's not always, but a lot of the times it's incorporating a brown lip liner so that it blends into our skin. That's fine. I like that. But, <clears throat> no. So, zero one, just right on in there. Okay. Uh, the levels of serotonin I get from putting a red lipstick on. It should be studied. It should be studied. I also oh. I also have to give it up to this applicator. I got big lips, y'all, okay? Um, the fact that I can go around my entire mouth and get this fully opaque lipstick with one dip. <sighs> I mean, am I the chosen one? <laughs> Am I better than everyone? I don't know. It sure feels like it. <laughs> but this is zero one. One of my favorite reds. Staple in my collection. I love it so much. Um, once I found it, like I said, Ruby Who? That's what they should call that lipstick now. Ruby Who? Um, I also remember getting the Stunna Lip Paint. I can't remember what the red one, what her first red one was called. All the names escape me. Love the formula on that. Loved the applicator on that. Um, but it is a pricier product and it is a formula that I feel expires very quickly. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> and y'all, when them Fenty Sunna paints expire, oh, they, they tell you, they tell you all about it. Um, I've never smelled sushi so pungent. Okay. It smelled like straight up fish. And I was like, you don't got to tell me twice, Fenty. <laughs> to the trash, okay? But yeah, this is zero 01. I absolutely love her. I don't even want to take it off. I don't want to do nothing else. I want to keep this on and go to sleep in it. I want to wake up in it. I want to go to work in it. I want to go exercise in it. I want to go for a walk in it. I will in a boat. I will um, in a coat. I will over there. I will everywhere, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I want this red lip to live on my face. Can I get it tattooed? Love it. That's a bit dramatic, but that's how much I love red lipstick. Okay, it was just oh, red and neutral brown lipstick. Mwah. Okay, red nails, give it to me. Okay, so let's take some photos of these and then let's get it on and pop them with 
this red because she needs some love too. She's more like a deep raspberry, but let's get her on my face, okay? See what she does. All right, jumping right on in. This is shade 94, beautiful, super deep. Yeah, I do like it. But she's more raspberry than she is red, you know? Not a problem, just there's some pink in her. And it's not my favorite shade of red. Um, reds that come with pink. I think I'd rather do like a red that's orange. Oh, I can't wait to swatch my other Juvia's Place lips. Oh, uh, lipsticks. Uh, but I can't lie. This is a beautiful red. What I also like about these is I just put all these colors on and not one of them is staining my lips. Which is weird because this is a lip stain, but they're not staining. I'm not keeping them on very long, but still. Again, they're very comfortable. I'm not even putting lip balm on under every single one. Maybe every third lipstick I am. Just because of the uh, makeup remover wipes, not so much because of the lipsticks. But this is gorgeous, more like a like a Bordeaux shade. Like you feel like it should be called Bordeaux. Bordeaux boudoir, I don't know. What am I talking about? I have this issue of like sitting on, like stepping on my own foot or like laying on one leg in a really odd way when I'm playing, it's very bad. Don't do that. <clears throat> Hold on, I need some tea. Mm. I found my cup warmer, so. My tea is still hot. Okay. But yeah, that is the last. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no. It's the last lipstick in this little collection. But I have one more Sephora lip stain. But yeah. Um, this one's completely dry and it feels so good. It's so comfortable. Even to not have lip balm under it. After swatching those other ones, my lips do not feel parched. They feel really nice. And I love I like this shade. Oh, hold on. Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's from all the exfoliation. Uh, so we're just gonna give her some more. Cause I want all my babies to succeed, okay? Give her the best chance. Yes, oh, I love that with the hair, yes. Oh, so good. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna take some photos of these and we'll come back and do that last uh, lip stain color and then I'll see you in the next video, okay? All right guys, and we are all finished. So that was all of the lipsticks from the 2023 Christmas collection from Sephora of their lip stains. I really, really enjoyed these. I'm super happy that I picked it up. And I don't actually shop from Sephora often. I don't like the site and I don't actually like, um, I don't, it's not that I don't like them. I just don't really check for most of the brands that are in Sephora, mostly because like Ulta just has an amazing point system and if you can't really beat that, I don't understand how you think I'm gonna shop there over Ulta, okay? So the shade I'm wearing right now is the shade 29. It's a beautiful foresty green and I really, really enjoy this shade. This was the shade that made me fall in love with green lipsticks. And I do have another green lipstick. I was going to do these lip swatches as well, but we'll, we'll save those for another day. I'm trying to maximize on my, my son's nap time because he's quiet, okay? He, he gonna wake up soon. But I have a few more videos I wanted to post or I wanna record. But yeah, I really, really like this formula. I love the um, colors they have. They have a ton of shades. And these are extremely comfortable. And then after going through these, I just didn't know how insanely wearable they are. 
for the very lighter shade or the, for the lighter shades I was able to get away with just one application kind of a sheer wash and it gave this very natural soft comfortable feel and look and oh this is really it's transferring like that because my lips are super dry now from all of the uh, rubbing with the makeup wipes because these do not transfer. Once they set, they, they, they're they set, okay? So don't think that that is the formula. That is just for my makeup wipes. But these are an extremely comfortable formula. This is something I could wear all day long and I would be perfectly happy to touch it up. But I really love these. I believe that the entire kit was like, maybe $29, maybe? No more, It was, I don't even think it was $40, but it was definitely no more than $40 and I'm very, very happy I picked these up. These will last a very long time. The colors are extremely wearable. Honestly, looking like looking at this range, every single one of them works for my skin tone beautifully. Lip liners or no, I really do enjoy them and I can't wait to get more use out of them. So I am gonna keep these in my uh, collection here. I don't remember if I have them in my shop, my sash. At this point, guys, I really don't care. I'm doing whatever I wanna do and that's what we're gonna do, okay? Okay, um, but yeah, so I do like to keep this one out at all times because at the time, it was the only green liquid lipstick that I had, but I have another one now. But yeah, that has been just another little lip video for you guys. I will continue to do these as I see fit because I have so much more to show and so much more to do and just so many more ideas. But <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did, and I will see you all in the next one. But until then, it's been me and it's been you and it's been a great time. It's me, Jasmine the Buffet Witch, with my cinnamon jasmine hair, and I will see you in the next one, which will be very, very soon with the same hair, probably the same lip, and maybe we're going to do eyes. I'm not quite sure, because I'm kind of liking the face with just like these heavily drawn on brows, extra high lip, and nude eyes. Like, I don't even have mascara on. Who am I? <laughs> I'm the Buffet Witch. That's who. Bye.